Hello again, I am Blunty. There are only a few ways on this earth that I could be more awesome. Just now, turn from a PlayStation event dedicated to celebrating the soon to be released Playta PlayStation. 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 PlayStation Move. I may or may not be completely full of Sony's free beer, leading me to be slightly anaesthetized, otherwise known as tipsy. I will admit to nothing in a court of gaming law. However, I have returned with these two nondescript white packages, and in these two nondescript white packages is in fact a PlayStation Move and a bunch of software, and although I've never done this before, and I don't usually do this, I'm going to do an unboxing just because I have it a week before release, and I'm very likely to be one of the first people in the world to, um, to do an unboxing, and I, like I said, I've never done it before, so I guess I have to do a proper unboxing at least once. So join me, won't you, as I unfurl the mysteries of these packages. We'll do the envelope. No, we won't do the envelope first. The envelope's boring, so let's let's have a look here. I'll we'll open up this nondescript white box. And we have ooh, shiny, shiny, purpley thing. Okay. If you look closely, there's a PlayStation logo embossed on that, which is not very interesting at all. So here we have the packaging for the PlayStation Move. It is lovely and shiny. Look at it. I could stare at it for... No, I couldn't stare at it for... Let's open it up, shall we? How do we get into this? Yeah, well, there we go. Ah, check this out. Woo! So, there we have packaging for the PlayStation Move. Very cool. So, what we've got here... We'll lay this on the table. We'll do the boring things first, as always. We have... No wait, this is uh, this is the Media Assets disc, which you will not get in the retail kit because this is obviously just for media guys and press guys like me. So there's probably some trailers and stuff on there. And what else do we have here? We've got uh, some uh, something in Czechoslovakia, and apparently there are no English bits to this at all, from what I can see. Hungary. Oh no, there we go, English. Yeah, it doesn't say anything interesting in English. Let's go. Oh, we got. So here we go. Here's the proper instructions. And I've just torn it because I'm clumsy. And, oh, it's awesome. One of those things that folds out like a international map of Zimbabwe. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's all kind of ordinary, boring, you know, pointing out which buttons do which. And oh, there's an amusing picture of someone clobbering someone else with the move and hitting a lamp and just bashing things over in general, which is always amusing when it comes to these sort of motion gaming peripheral things. There's always got to be something there that means, you know, if you break your furniture, it's not our fault. We told you not to break your furniture. How could you be so stupid as to break your furniture? All right, so I've been playing this all night, by the way. I've been at, like I said, been at the Sony event, so I've had a, a good long soak in this, and I've played several games from it, and... They are fun. There will be a full review coming, of course. I'm just doing this unboxing thing for the sake of doing an unboxing thing, basically. So there's a hand strap, similar to what comes with the Wii, so you can thread it through the remote and strap it around your wrist, so if you're dumb enough to somehow let go of the controller as you're swinging it around the room, if you're some sort of demented moron of a gibbon, that, you know, somehow you go like that and you let it go, it sort of dangles from your wrist pathetically instead of smashing through your wall in a spectacular fashion leaving you with some awesome photos to upload and complain about how Sony owe you a new TV or wall or something like that because you didn't bother reading the instructions that clearly tell you not to destroy your furniture with it. The PlayStation Move controller which looks nothing at all like anything phallic ever invented of course. This is all squishy by the way which tends to surprise some people. They, they tend to think it's like a ping pong ball because it looks exactly like a ping pong ball. It's exactly the same size as a ping pong ball, but it's all squishy. So if you do happen to let go of it and it hits someone in the temple, you won't instantly kill them. Cool. So, and of course we have the PlayStation Eye. I've always thought that the PlayStation Eye is one of the ugliest pieces of industrial design I have ever seen. It is just a hideous piece of hardware. But, you know, as long as it gets the job done, I really don't care what it looks like. It's, you know, small enough. It'll sit there out of sight for the most part. But, God damn it, it is ugly! A base there with a flat side on it so you can sort of hook it around. If you turn that all the way around, you can hook that over your flat screen TV so it sits on the top like that. And the cord sort of balances it. So that's, that's why that base has a flat side, people, in case you're wondering. And... 
Well, that's about it. That's all I got. I didn't get the other the other uh, navigation controller or anything. I just got the camera and this and a disc full of stuff and the hand strap. And, well, that's all I really need to get me going. Now, I was playing at the event and they've got the, the gun attachment which clips in. Um, it, it, it's awesome. It looks like a 1950s sort of ray gun style thing. It feels really good in your hand and everything, but I'll probably put that through the review paces separately when I uh, actually have to buy my own apparently because they didn't give me one even though it's awesome. Now, what we have here is a whole bunch of discs. So here we go. Some paper here telling me exactly what I got. Hopefully there's nothing in this piece of paper that says I'm not allowed to talk about this for a week because I'm not going to read it before I publish this because <laughs> I'm just reckless like that. So we have Kung Fu Rider, which is wacky, wacky game. It's basically you're in an office chair hurtling down the street and you have to dodge obstacles and other people who try and clobber your face in with sticks. It's really bizarre, but really kind of fun. Start the Party, which predictably enough is a whole bunch of party games, and they're surprisingly fun. I expected to be making fun of those when I played them at the event. Stupid little party games, uh, yeah, what? But they're actually really fun, and these really show off how well the uh, the the PlayStation Move tracks your actual movement, because you get augmented reality things, like a paintbrush or a paddle on there, and it follows your every move precisely, which is a really nice way to show off how much more accurate this is than, say, the Wii, for instance, which I talked about in a previous video. But we'll get to that in the review, I imagine. Uh, we have Sports Champions disc, and that's a lot of fun there. So you've got some archery and some sword fighting games on there. So you've got a sword and shield, and that was a lot of fun to play. We have iPet Move Edition, which I did not play at the event. I don't think they had it playable there from memory, but I've seen trailers. It looks kind of interesting if you're into that virtual pet thing. And R-U-S-E, Ruse, which is a ba bam that, and I don't think they had this running there either, but uh, looks kind of interesting. I'll get to all that when I do the proper run-down review, but that's what I got in the press kit. I don't know if the retail kit is going to come in a hugely waste of space box like that. I mean, it looks really impressive when, you, when you're doing an unboxing and everything, but you have to imagine the retail kit might be a little more... A little more earth friendly, a little more uh, efficient, perhaps. I don't know. If it does come in, this would be really cool because that's an awesome box, kind of like a, a low polygon count Pac Man. But yes, that is the PlayStation. This is really comfortable, by the way. I'd rather have one of these in my hand than a Wii. Uh, Wii Remote or whatever you want to call it. Trigger is nice too. Trigger is better than what's on the actual proper six axis controller. That's really, really nice. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Squishy, 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 squishy. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Mm, that's it for now. That's your unboxing. Review to come within the week. I'll get the review up just before launch so you can make your mind up whether you want to spend your money on it at launch day. I can tell you right now, the review is probably going to be positive because I had a blast playing with it tonight. But anyway, I've got a week to really soak it in and really get to grips with the capabilities of the PlayStation Move. But bam! Catch you next time.